Hey everyone, it's time to play around with some more AI and today we're going to be working with Stable Diffusion XL which was just released. It's still a research version so you can't use it commercially but we're going to go ahead and install it and we're going to play around with it and see what it can do. So here we go. First you're going to want to go to Hugging Face, Stability AI, Stable Diffusion, XL Base 0.9 and of course you want to read through this it's the researcher early access so read through and then you can get down to the bottom and you're gonna log in sign up if you haven't signed up okay so now that we're logged in you have to answer a few questions you want to submit the application and then you will be presented with the info about SDXL now if you want to install this you're going to need to install Vlad Diffusion is one of the options you can't just run it straight in automatic 1111 however Vlad Diffusion is a fork of automatic 1111 we've got the Stable Diffusion XL base 0.9 model loaded up and what we'll do let's just start with the basics here so we'll start with the defaults so the defaults is using the UniPC sampling method 20 steps 512 by 512 CFG 6 and let's just see what we got here let's let's just um, try something here let's start off real simple raw high-def photo of a woman waving at the camera I want to put the I want to see how the hands do in here because obviously hands in stable diffusion and a lot of AI is uh, notorious for having deformed hands so let's see what we get by default okay <laughs> that is definitely not very photorealistic okay that's alright let's do raw high def Photo realistic photo of a woman. Try that. Ooh, there's a deformed hand like I was talking about. All right, let's change some things here. Let's change the resolution. I like let's let's go all the way up to 1024. Okay, we'll do high res fix since we're on 1024. Upscale by two, that's fine. Okay, let's go generate. All right, that's much better. The hand looks good. And the arm is a little funky there. Looks like she's got a broken arm, or at one time that healed funny. <laughs> but it's definitely better than the stable diffusion 1.5 the eyes are a little funky let's try restore faces right, let's just try it again generate there we go okay not bad yeah the face looks a lot better here face looks a lot better the hand looks pretty good Got the bokeh in the background, that, that looks pretty cool. Let's try another one. Let's do the same thing, generate. And that's without any negative prompts. Okay. Hands not bad. Fingers kind of look the same size, but it's not bad. Face is decent. Okay. Let's do another one. It looks like an alien before it finishes. Okay, eh, the hand's a little weird on that one. Still not as deformed as they used to be. Okay, let's do something else. Cyberpunk. Foreman in a forbidden forest. Waving at the 
camera. Boom. All right, that's kind of cool. Eh, looks like she's got an extra finger there. Not too good on the hand. Definitely better though than Stable Diffusion 1.5. Let's do another one. Ooh, that hand's bad. Seems to be missing an arm here too. That, that one didn't turn out too well. Tell you what, let's I'm gonna import some negative prompts that I used in automatic eleven eleven from previous. Just need to prune this out here. See how that does. Okay. Let's do another one. Fingers aren't too good in that one either. Wow, that's weird. Okay, let's take the waving at the camera out. Well, eyes a little messed up there, even though we've got the restore faces off. Let's try a different sampling method. Let's go with the old traditional Euler A. So we get okay. Right, let's do some other things. Um, let's just change this part. Let's do macro photo. Of a mosquito. All right, that's cool. Ooh, I like that. <laughs> Let's do another one. That's fun. Very similar. Cool. Let's try spider. <laughs> Freak some people out here. Spider. Yeah, buddy. Uh, it's a jumping spider. Well, that looks really cool. That's a pretty good high def there. Let's see if it can do this. Let's do a Huntsman Spider. <laughs> Doesn't really look like a Huntsman Spider, but it looks kind of cool. Let's see, what else can we do? Let's do an ant. Oh yeah, that's cool. You would think that's a real photo. That's what, that's really close to what they look like in real macro photography. Wow. Okay, let's try, let's do underwater. ocean scene with coral reef and dolphins. Okay. That's cool. And a killer whale. Eh, 
Eh, a little wonky there. Got some extra fins. Ugh. That's not so great. Let's try Stingray. No stingray. The dolphins aren't bad. This one doesn't seem to have any eyes. Okay. Boy riding a bike. All right, that's cool. Hands a little funky there. Not sure where his other leg is. Let's try another one. All right. Let's see how high we can get on this res. Let's um. We're already upscaling it twice, but let's. Let's crank this up here. Let's just see what happens if we go all the way. 2048. Be a little slow. We might get some errors. But let's just see what happens. Let's see if we crash. Well, we're working. video cards at RTX 3090 with 24 gigs of RAM so it's kind of hefty so it looks like it can handle it do we crash or are we loading up the preview yeah out of memory yeah didn't work. Uh, maybe if we just kill the upscale. Let's try it again without the upscale. <laughs> yeah it's kind of oh there we go crashed again okay so we know that's too high go back to 1024 this didn't seem to have any problem we'll just do 1024 and we'll do the upscale mermaid at the beach Alright, that looks pretty good. You see the detailed hair? Oh, she's got even a little tattoo, it looks like. Or no, maybe that's just her scales. That's pretty cool though, that the hair looks really nice. Creepy zombie. In a overgrown cemetery. Getting ready for Halloween early. Yay, hey, I like that. It's creepy. Let's do another one. Yeah, oh yeah, I like it. Creepy. House in the woods on a mountain side next to a flowing stream. All 
Okay. Eh, it's a little strange. You get the general idea, though. It's like architecture is not the greatest in here. Must not have been trained. A house and a community. Okay, that's not the greatest. People walking down a busy city street. All right. That's better than some models, uh, especially when you get farther away. A lot of the faces don't look very good. These are better than they used to be. And uh, Stable Diffusion 1.5. Some other models are a lot better. Anyway, you get the idea. It's definitely better than 1.5, so it's going to just keep getting better and better. And once we start seeing some other models coming out, this is going to be really good. So it's going to be fun to see what comes in the future. So anyway, that wraps it up for Stable Diffusion XL. Go ahead and download it yourself, set it up, and try it out for yourself. Go ahead and put it in the comments, what is your favorite model? Have you tried out the XL model? Or are there certain other models you like using? And any questions that you might have or anything that you may be interested in seeing in a future video, subscribe to the channel, click that little bell, and we'll see you again real soon.